Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. And today I want to talk to you about this idea that the past is not your enemy. Although I don't find myself stuck in the past as much these days, I do get stuck on certain things that have to do with the end of my marriage. And when this happened to me this week, when I was thinking about having to pick up my daughter from school because she wasn't feeling well and being the only person that could pick her up, I started to battle with the past, battle what would have happened had my husband not left me, battle with the fact that he left the state. And all of a sudden, everything is my enemy and everything's going wrong. And I'm just not taking care of what I have to take care of in my life. It caused me to overreact. It caused a lot of anger. In the middle of this, I remembered a story that I heard a long time ago that really helped me let go. The story goes like this. A hunter is trying to catch a monkey that is stealing food from his town. Even after a very long time of chasing after the monkey, he still had no luck. The monkey was quite clever and would run fast, climb and jump from tree to tree. The hunter began to feel it was nearly impossible to capture the monkey. Just as the hunter was about to give up, a wise old man gave him some instructions on how to accomplish the task. He was told to get a rope, a coconut, some sugar, and some peanuts. Following the old man's instructions, the hunter cut a portion of the top of the coconut, leaving a small hole in the center, just big enough to fit in a monkey's hand. He then placed peanuts with sugar inside the hole and tied the coconut to a tree with the rope. Since it was getting late, he then called it a night and went home to get some rest. The next morning when the hunter woke up, he went to check on his coconut. Just as the old wise man had advised him, the monkey was there, still running around the tree in a circle with his hand stuck inside the coconut. The monkey had stuck his hand in the coconut to retrieve the sugary peanuts and held them in his fist. Since his fist with the peanuts was bigger than the hole in the coconut, he could not get his hand out and was stuck. If the monkey had been willing to let go of the sweet peanuts and open his hand, then he would have been able to remove it from the coconut and run free. The hunter was not actually the one that caught the monkey because he had been sleeping the whole night. In the end, it was the monkey that imprisoned himself to the tree due to his unwillingness to let go. And when I remembered that story, I actually started to laugh. It was my hand in the coconut. I was holding on to the past. I was holding on to the stories. And it wasn't my reality in the moment. In the moment, I'm no longer with my husband. In the moment, I had to figure out how to pick up my daughter. In the moment, I'm creating a new life. So it was my choice to either stay in the past, keep my hands in the coconut, holding on to the peanuts, the sugar, the pain, the anger, the things he didn't do right, the things I'm still mad about, or I could open my hand and pull myself out of the situation and realize that the past is not my enemy. He is not my enemy. And if I don't let go in this moment, I'm really my own enemy. I am the one that's holding myself back. And it was so interesting too. It was such a wonderful day. The weather was great. I just got some great news about an article that was being printed. I was having a great day at the motherhood center. I got to meet a couple of friends I haven't seen in a long time. Sure, I wasn't happy my daughter wasn't feeling good, but I was going to have her picked up the next day. It was a pretty good day, but I had to pull my hand out of the past. No matter what I thought it offered me, it stood between me and my freedom. And that's what happens when the past becomes our enemy or someone who's no longer in our life becomes our enemy. We give them our freedom and that freedom is the most important thing that we have. That freedom allows us to move forward. That freedom helps us start new businesses, get new jobs, form new relationships. That freedom is when we get to be with who we truly are and feel the depth of joy and love and kindness and compassion. But when we stick our hand in that coconut because we want what we lost in the past back, we want revenge, we want something different than we have right now, we are bound to that tree. We are bound to something that no longer exists. And then that becomes the thing between us and our freedom to move forward. That's what happens when the past is our enemy or when certain people 
are our enemy. They control us in the moment. And the only person that's going to help us move forward is ourselves. And I know it's hard because we're always being asked to let go. And sometimes it feels too much. Why do we have to let go of the wrongs that were done to us? Why do we have to let go of the betrayal? Why do we have to let go of when someone took something that was so meaningful to us? Why do we have to let go of all the wrongdoing and the pain? And the reason why we have to let it go is because it hurts us. It hurts us to hold on. And you know, I feel you have to process the pain. You have to process your feelings, but you don't have to stay stuck in the past. Even if you feel pain, you don't have to run the stories of the past again and again and again and again. And if we're not careful, not only do we not let them go, we either close our heart to something new or we allow the past to repeat itself. Either way, it's not something we want to invite in our lives. We know that if we live with a closed heart, we're carrying the past with us because we're not willing to take the chance to live again, to feel again, to experience again. So the past becomes our enemy and then we're limited. And if we don't learn our lessons and we don't let go and we keep playing that loop, then we're going to have the same problems, the same relationships, and we're just going to keep bringing it forward. In a way, we're just running around the tree with a rope again and again, repeating and repeating. When there's an entire world out there for us, we can look at it like a prison with an open door, or you could do what I did this week. I actually visualized my hand in a coconut, and I just opened my hand and pulled it out. And sometimes a visualization is the best way to go, and I kept saying to myself all week, take your hand out of the coconut, Allison, and be free. And I hope you could do the same thing. We have every right to be upset. We have every right to be angry. We have every right to be disappointed. But is that the song we want to sing the rest of our lives? Holding on hurts us. It's not about justice. It's not about right. It's not about wrong. It's about us doing what's best for us to create a new life. And there's nothing that I want more than to move forward and to leave the past behind me. I don't want to be tethered the rest of my life to a broken marriage and a broken heart and a career I didn't pursue or joy I never had again. I want a new beginning. And I'm sure you do too. I'm sure there's something in your life that you're just ready to let go of, even if you don't know how. But start to think about the monkey and the coconut. It's not even silly. It's actually kind of genius to think at any moment you could let it go if it's in your past and no longer in this moment. And you could look around you and you could take a deep breath and you could say, where am I now and what is possible? And it's not that you're never going to think of the past again or pain is not going to come back because I have those moments. But when I think about this, I don't linger. You don't want to linger in the past. And you don't want to think about the past as your enemy. And you don't want to think about someone who's no longer in your life as your enemy. Because then you're always battling it and you're not focusing your attention on all that can be. You have what it takes to move forward with your life. You have what it takes to let go of the past, to let go of the people that hurt you. And believe me, I know it's not easy, but it is a road worth taking. And I ended up having a great week. And every time I watched my mind go in a different direction, I said, Allison, take your hand out of the coconut. Let it go. Be free. And you don't need to be out of pain to be free. You don't need to have a perfect life. You don't have to achieve all your goals. You could still be free in the middle of it all. We are free when we recognize everything in the past has brought us to this moment. Every person we met, every experience we had, it all brought us here. And in this moment, if there's breath, there's hope. And if there's hope, there's maybe. In this moment, maybe your life is exactly where it needs to be. Maybe your dreams are still intact. And most of all, when the people from our past are not our enemy, when our experiences are not our enemies, and we could truly come to this moment with an open heart and believe in ourselves and have hope for the future, then we realize that maybe the best is yet to come.
Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you can email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to buy my books, The Gift of Maybe or Year Without Men, they're available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you could subscribe and leave a comment.